one-year survey carried out in the town of Mbalmayo, a locality situated on the outskirts of Yaoundé, reveals that 55.3% of the inhabitants use solid fuels like wood, sawdust and charcoal to cook. In a sample of 400 participants, the findings also indicate that 44% rely on gas as their main fuel for cooking. We also, during uh, this uh, study, looked at uh, the level of air pollution in households and uh, direct uh, exposure of uh, ladies or men to the pollution. And we found that in households uh, where uh, they were using LPG, the level of pollution was low and very low in comparison with households using uh, charcoal or wood for cooking. So this uh, confirmed what is already known in the scientific uh, world that uh, use of solid fuel is associated with high level of air pollution while the use of clean fuel is uh, safe for the, for the health. In the field, researchers noted some factors that serve as barriers to the use of clean fuels. In more than 50% of the households, men are involved in the decision making on what kind of fuel they have to use in their households. So the recommendation that we could give, that we can give it, that during sensitization, because so far only men, uh, women and children have been involved in sensitization in issues um, concerning household air pollution because in our context women are those who are involved in cooking and children are also involved somehow because sometimes for little babies the mothers have to carry them a long while in the, in the kitchen. But our study is proving that men are supposed to be involved in sensitization because they are the ones having the financial power. If the man doesn't give the permission or give the money for um, the switching of the fuel type, then there will of course be no change no matter how much the woman is informed on the, um, the polluting effects of a biomass fuel. First of all, the cost, they were complaining of the cost of the initial um, equipment needed to start using gas. They complained of uh, the cost of the refills. They also complained of uh, the, dan the danger, danger associated with the use of gas for cooking and also the availability of uh, bottles, of cylinders, because here in Balmayo sometimes they don't have the different brands of gas being, being sold. And uh, the distance from the households to the place of uh, where they can uh, buy the cylinders. For the 40% who don't know when they will start using gas to cook because they believe it is costly, some measures are envisaged. When you just see it superficially, you can think that uh, LPG is uh, more expensive than uh, charcoal or than wood, which is not really true, especially when you are to buy charcoal or to buy Hood. When you add the daily uh, money that you use, by the end of the month you see that you are spent more than the bottle of, of gas. And uh, when I was talking um, uh, for the participation of uh, council, through associations, you know, we have different associations in our different quartiers and so on, passing through, uh, through these associations we can have uh, microcredit and we have worked on it in southwest and even here in Balmayo you have the microfinance organisms who can uh, which can uh, deliver microcredit to to population at a very low uh, uh, rate of uh, interest given the negative health impacts of the use of biomass fuels there are other ways of cooking i recommend the electric clean cooking to our populations First of all, because uh, according to what I have experienced, it's cheaper. It looks cheaper than using cooking gas, and it's safer than using, uh, let's say, charcoal or uh, wood firewood. It is possible nowadays to use an electric pressure cooker to cook food in Cameroon, like it happens in Kenya, Zambia, or Nigeria. What I suggest is people should use electric pressure cookers that are energy efficient. That is, they cook food with electricity but at a lower cost. If you just go to the market and buy any device that can cook 
with electricity, you will spend more with any. And also I recommend that people living in rural areas can use the solar energy and specific electric cookers to cook food with. This is already possible and maybe if we organize the next seminar here, I will demonstrate because I already have the equipment that I have imported from uh, abroad and I believe that people can still cook food with electric, uh, let's say, uh, solar electricity. Participants at the survey have benefited from the initiative and wish for more sensitization to be done. Nous avions l'habitude de, de, de cuisiner avec euh, du bois dans un cadre qui n'était pas suffisamment oxygéné. Et maintenant, nous avons compris qu'il fallait suffisamment d'air et puis même améliorer nos foyers, c'est-à-dire euh, construire des, des conduits pour euh, la fumée. Et là, on, on s'est senti un peu soulagé, on, on tousse moins, on suffoque moins parce que les, les cuisines sont aérées et ça, ça m'a beaucoup plu. According to the World Health Organization, over 3 billion people in the world use solid fuels to cook leading to environmental pollution and more than 3 million people die every year as a result of indoor air pollution.